welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel today's video is regarding another complaint of ear that is otitis media media means is the middle ear the problem is in the middle ear that is why media and this is itis is always infection or the inflammation i t r s this particular suffix indicates the inflammation of that particular organ you might have been heard about tonsillitis inflammation of tonsils appendicitis inflammation of appendix bronchitis inflammation of bronchus similarly inflammation and infection of the middle ear is otitis media these are very common complaint in general medical practice presented by myself professor dr r r deshpande i am md post graduation two post graduation in ayurvedic medicine kai chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kriya sharir for paid online consultation or paid online ayurveda classes you can contact to ayurveda academy by whatsapp only on 9226810630 so this particular video you will find in the playlist menu shalakya tantra here you will find this particular otitis media video let us start to discuss about this ent problem this is the shalakya tantra lecture for the last year bms students this is as per the syllabus but this lecture is not only for students but also for the medical doctors and also for the common man to increase the awareness of the knowledge of medicine so this is acute and chronic otitis media acute suppurative otitis media is the full name of the disease the short form of the disease is a s o m a for acute s for suppurative o for otitis m for media a s o m this is always asked in the examination of last year students of bms so this is very important question okay i have already uploaded the video about pain in the ear in ayurveda it is karna shula one of the important cause of the pain in the ear is otitis media we will discuss this otitis media in detail today this is acute infection of middle ear especially after u r t i what is this upper respiratory tract infection u r t i don't get confused with the word u t i u t i only is urinary tract infection this is u r t i that is upper respiratory tract infection what is upper infection of the nose rhinitis sinusitis then pharyngitis laryngitis up to the primary bronchus whatever the infection you get in the upper part of respiratory tract is called as a upper respiratory tract infection another word l r t i what is that l r t i lower respiratory tract infection and what is lower especially infection of the lungs that is pneumonitis emphysema bronchiectasis these are the diseases of like l r t i but otitis media is connected with u r t i what are the symptoms or the clinical features severe throbbing pain in otitis media before the pus drains out from the perforated tympanic membrane after the pus gets accumulated severe pain then that pus push the tympanic membrane and ear drum that is tympanic membrane perforates and pus is discharged in the external ear the patient will come with the discharge in the ear okay acute suppurative otitis media first is a definition this is asom is an acute inflammatory condition of muco periosteal lining 
of the middle ear cleft. This is common illness in infants and children occurring more often during the winter season because there is a chances of getting rhinitis, sinusitis, pharyngitis is common because of the cold. Kapha prakop will be there and upper respiratory tract will be affected. There will be running nose, sneezing and that particular thing goes inside and blocks the eustachian tube. This is usually secondary to an upper respiratory infection, URTI. What are the sources of infection? It may be from nasopharynx, for example, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, then enlarged and infected adenoid. Adenoids can give the infection to the middle ear. Tonsillitis, rhinitis, sinusitis, pharyngitis, coryza of measles, whooping cough, etc. So these are the sources of infection which proceeds to the middle ear. Also from the external ear, the infection can go inside. Traumatic perforation due to the blast, foreign body, etc. Reinfection from previously perforated drum, that is tympanic membrane. Fracture of the temporal bone. This also can give rise to infection to the middle ear, that is otitis media. Always follow my cursor, my dear friends. Investigations. Ear was culture. Culture and sensitivity test is always done to find out the exact organisms and the exact antibiotic. Exact organisms, exact antibiotic to know which organisms are the causative factors. Acute suppurative otitis media, these are the clinical features, symptoms. Unusual irritability in the child. Difficulty in sleeping or staying asleep, sleep will be disturbed. Tugging or pulling at one or both ears according to the infection. Either one side may be infected or both the ears may be infected. Fever because this is bacterial infection, especially in infants and younger children. Fluid draining from ear or both the ears. Loss of balance hearing difficulties and ear pain. These are the symptoms of acute suppurative otitis media. What is the treatment? Analgesic anti-inflammatory, which is called as, write down, NSAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like IBUJC plus, one tablet three times in a day, TDS. Capsule MOX, this is brand name. What is generic name? Amoxicillin, 500 milligram, three times in a day for seven days. Don't stop any antibiotic haphazardly because that may give rise to the antibiotic resistance. And what is antibiotic resistance? That medicine will not help when given in the next time. Capsule cephalexin, this is or either you have to give the amoxicillin or the mox or you have to give cephalexin 500 milligram four times in a day QIN. or trimming nasal drops in each nostril three times in a day acute suppurative otitis media if there is a severe pain purse is not drained through spontaneous perforation of the eardrum or tympanic membrane then unfortunately the general practitioner may refer these patients to the ENT surgeon, ear, nose, throat for myringotomy. Myringotomy. Acute suppurative otitis media, Ayurvedic treatment. Sukshma Chaturbhuj Rasa, 50 mg, plus Rasa Sindur, 50 mg, two times in a day. Septilin of Himalaya Company, two tablet three times in a day. This is one prescription. I am giving you four prescriptions. Or you can use Gandhaka Rasayan of Ayurveda Rasashala Pune, two tablets, three times in a day. And Vyadi Harana Rasa, 50 milligram, plus Rasa Sindur, 50 milligram, 
three times in a day with warm water. These particular medicines are very hot, Ushna Tikshna, and they are Kapha Gnha in nature. Because Ayurveda always believes first is there because of the vitiated or impure Kapha Dosha in our body. Next prescription for acute superative hepatitis media, third prescription. Kapardik Bhasma, Ayurveda Seva Sangha Nashik, two tablets in a day, also for installation, Kapardik Bhasma, by experts only. This is not for common man. An expert doctor can put this Kapardik Bhasma, very purified, hygienic way, into the ear to stop the pus drain. Then, either he can use Kapardik Bhasma locally, or he can use the Karna Stravahara Taila of Ayurveda Seva Sangha Nashik, for local application. Karna strav, strav is discharge. It will stop, this oil will stop the discharge from the ear. Then internally, Sarivadi Vati, this is very blood purifier, one to two tablets, two times in a day, two in the morning, two in the evening. This was the third prescription for potatis media. Now the fourth prescription, Sarivadi Vati, blood purifier, two tablets, two times in a day, Tribhuvana Kirti Ras to control upper respiratory tract infection. Tribhuvana Kirti, two tablets, two times in a day. Guruji Ghanavati or Guruji Sattva, two tablets, two times in a day to boost up your immunity and to avoid the recurrence. Regimen, plug in cotton and change if that particular cotton gets wet due to the pus. Try not to use any eardrops unless indicated. Do not wet head while bathing. Chronic otoria, discharge from the ear. According to the nature of the discharge, you can diagnose about the causes of that particular problem. If that serious discharge is from ear, the cause may be otitis externa. Externa means external ear. That particular discharge may be with pus, purulent. Then definitely it is middle ear infection and perforation of the tympanic membrane. If the discharge is foul smelling, the cause is polystetoma. Polystetoma is a benign encysted tumor of middle ear that gives a bad smell to the discharge. If the discharge is with blood, that is bloody discharge, the cause may be trauma, may be tumor, or may be poly in the ear. Chronic suppurative otitis media. First was acute suppurative otitis media. This is chronic. What is the definition? The long standing infection of the middle ear cleft is known as chronic otitis media. When the discharge is purulent, it is known as chronic otitis media. Predisposing factors. What can cause this chronicity? Neglected and improper management of acute infection. Doses of the antibiotics was inadequate or discontinued early by the patient. Recurrent infection from a primary focus in the neighborhood, that is maybe in the nose, maybe in the nasopharynx, tonsil, paranasal, air sinuses, or adenoid. This infection is still there and it's not completely cured, so recurrence is possible. Another predisposing factors for chronicity, high virulence and low resistance, this combination. What is meant by high virulence? The number and the severity of the bacteria is much more than the resistance by the patient, immunity of the patient. Immunity is low and the bacterial infections is very strong. Certain infection which is chronic from the very beginning. For example, if the patient is suffering from syphilis, there is venereal, VD, venereal diseases, tuberculosis, otitis media with acute infection, infectious fever, such as the measles and whooping cough, poor economic conditions and unhygienic surroundings. These are the problems for chronic superative otitis media. Chronic otoria, discharge from the ear. What, are, what can be the steps should be followed for management? In general medical practice, ask the patient to keep ear clean. Johnson's ear birds every time before ear drops. Clean it. Cleaning of the ear is very important. Genticine, 
or ciplox ear drops four times in a day qid this is external now internally antibiotic capsule cefalexin 500 mg four times in a day or this there is or all three antibiotics i have suggested another antibiotic is capsule vaccine 500 mg qid or tablet azithromycin that is az 500 mg od for seven days or trivin nasal drops two times in a day tablet bromhexin 8 mg tds for seven days and the general practitioner should refer the cases to the ent surgeon if discharge persist then there is a need of tympanoplasty chronic suppurative otitis media treatment use all the medicines you have to use the medicines prescribed for acute otitis media use medicines for primary infection refer the patient to the specialist if perforation for myringoplasty or mastoid operation my dear friends so this was the lecture for otitis media by ayurved academy by professor dr arav deshpande this is the shalakya tantra lecture of ent for the last year bma students this is very important topic for syllables because the conditions like ear pain ear ache otalgia suppurate is actually uh, otitis media all these questions are asked in the examination uh, so this both the videos are very important for your examination as well as for your medical practice of ear all these videos are educational so naturally vaidhani ishara or disclaimer kaun si bhi bimari mein yathavashyak yathakal vaidhya ki salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai no self medication is advisable if you are suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis diabetes cardiac problem motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorders in the children idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases you can definitely whatsapp me on 9226810630 for only paid online consultation or paid online bms classes i request all of you to like this video share this video and by folding my hands i request that you please subscribe my youtube channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get very interesting videos by professor dr arav deshpande thank you very much and i wish you all the best wish you happy healthy and long life take care and bye bye